Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and today I thought I'd give you a little insight into me. So this is 10 facts about Brian the Scary Lion. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the first one. Now the first one, uh, I'm basically just going <laughs> to give you some basic info. My name's Brian, uh, I'm 23, turned 24 in a couple of months and I live in the UK. Uh, not much more to be said on that, so let's just move straight on. Second fact, I am the second oldest of four kids. I've got an older sister who uh, I don't really know as well as I probably should, but I'm only 23 and uh, there's still a lot of time to build a relationship there, so here's to hoping I can do that. Um, I've got a younger brother who he's only like a year younger than me so um we can share a lot of the same interests and that uh and he is probably the person that person i am closest to we we argue we fight but all brothers do that don't they but i'm i'm closest to my brother and then there's my little sister who i absolutely adore um She's actually the reason, like, I, I want to make something of myself. I want to, like, make my little sister proud of me. <laughs> yeah, I want her to look up to me, and isn't that what all big brothers want, really, at the end of the day? <laughs> so, yeah, um, there's a little bit of information on my siblings. I actually left school uh, at the end of year 10, to take part in something called the Year 11 Project, which is basically, instead of doing Year 11, you start college a year early. And during that, I actually got my level one in childcare. Uh, but uh, by doing the by the end of the course on childcare, I didn't feel it was right for me. So I switched courses into public services, where I actually did, where I actually got my level two and then completed both years of my level three. Um, I haven't really done anything with my qualifications. I mean, um, because I left school a year early, I don't have any GCSEs, but I made up for that in like extra classes that I took. Like I've got an adult literacy, adult numeracy qualification, which is equivalent to a GCSE. Uh, I won't say that I'm like dumb because of it all, but I'm not as smart as I could be. Maybe I could have applied myself a bit better. And But yeah, th there's a little lesson. Apply yourself in school a bit better. A lot of places ask for GCSEs when you go for a job interview. So yeah, make sure you apply yourself. Next thing, my channel wasn't always going to be called Brian the Scary Lion. The original name for it was going to be Dynastan. This is because I got gave the name Dynastan a few years ago by my cousin um it was all because i dyed my hair black for a little while and he started calling me dynamo didn't get it because i look nothing like dynamo it was literally just because of the black hair after that i tried dyeing it blonde now he said that i was trying to be eminem so he started calling me stan for a while these nicknames were just like grating on me, but I I tried at one point like I'd already dyed my hair black, but I tried to change it to blonde. Anyone who knows about dyeing hair knows it's a big no-no to try to go from a dark color to a light color, and it essentially just turned my hair kind of purple. But because I tried mixing both of the colors. He combined both Dynamo and Stan to just Dynastan. And that nickname, I don't know why it stuck. I use it for a lot of profile stuff and that. But um, with the nickname Brain the Scary Lion, I got that a long time ago. Like a long time ago. I used to hang around with a lot of lads back in my school days, like after school. And one day one of them said that I was like a prowling lion. Can't remember why, but they said I was like a prowling lion and started calling me Brian the Scary Lion. 
So that name just stuck and this was around the time that I made my first YouTube channel. Now that channel was literally just made so I could like and subscribe to stuff. So I just thought I'd give it the little nickname Brian the Scary Lion. Now the decision to change my mind about having it from Dynastan to keeping the name Brian the Scary Lion all came about while I was sitting watching YouTube with uh, my best friend. Basically, uh, it was when this whole thing for Super Chats came about. I was sitting watching Zerka, who a lot of you will know, and if you don't, he's one of the members of the Sidemen, and he's actually my favourite YouTuber. And I decided to send in a Super Chat. It was literally simple. simple. Um, I'll actually put a little clip of it here. Here's what the Super Chat was. Brian the Scary Lion with the two pound uh, donation ticket. Shout out to Sophie, you make her smile a lot. Shout out to you, Sophie. <laughs> Brian the Scary Lion did that for you. <laughs> Brian the Scary Lion. What a king. What an actual king. Yeah, the, the feeling of him going, what a king. That, that <laughs> I've, I've never felt more ecstatic about something in my life. I know it's one of them things where someone calls you a king, it's just like a nice feeling. But this is like, he's my favourite YouTuber. So when he called me a king, I was like, right, Brian the Scurry Lion, it's the name I have got to stick with. I've just got to keep this name, it's been rated now, so yeah. So there, that's how Brian the Scurry Lion came about. As I was uh, born in Glasgow. I grew up in England, like, we moved when I was, I can't, I can't even have a, I don't even have a memory of, like, Glasgow from before we moved here. My first memory is literally here. I'm Glaswegian. I've lived here, like, I've lived in the UK, like, in the Northwest my whole life. So... This this is what I know. This is home to me. That's not to say that I'm shoving out the Scottish side of me because no, I I embrace the Scottish side of me. I I still have my Scottish accent. I tend I have a weird thing with it. I tend to only use it when I'm talking to family. <laughs> it's it's a strange one, but yeah, I tend to only use it when I'm talking to my family. But I've never shoved the Scottish part of me to the side. The whole thing is I, I count myself as like a jewel. I grew up in England like this is this this is what I know this is my home but Scotland is a part of me as well and there's nothing wrong <laughs> there's nothing wrong with either so yeah I'm a proud Englishman and a proud Scotsman I say another thing about me is I've never actually been abroad I think I discussed this in one of my other videos but it's something that I'd love to do I'd love to visit uh, the biggest place for me is Paris because I want to go to the Louvre. Uh, I love art. Uh, you couldn't tell it from looking at me. I, I seem like well, well too uncultured. But I actually do love art. Going to see the Mona Lisa and everything in the Louvre would it, it just bring a little fascinating thing to me. Because you can look at a picture and go, "Oh, that's lovely," but you can actually look at the details of a picture and see a whole story behind it. That's the beautiful thing about art. It's not just one picture, it's the story that that picture tells. Next one, my favourite YouTubers, as you've probably guessed from the question earlier, are the Sidemen. I've never missed the video. As I've already stated, Josh is my favourite. Now the reason Josh Zerka is my favourite is he's the one I probably most <laughs> connect with it's the weirdness of him it, he'll literally say the first thing that comes to his mind and that's me all over I, I could just be sat in a room with my friends and out of nowhere I'll just say something completely random and people will look at me like what are you on about as you can tell from all, most of Josh's videos that is him but yeah there you go my favorite youtubers the sidemen love them now let's talk about jobs I've had a few jobs in my life. I worked in a factory, but it was, you know, like the the, the little basic jobs that you'd expect someone with no GCSEs to get. I mean, the factory work, I, I probably, 
It's probably a case of should have had more GCSEs. But it, it was a two-week trial run. It, it was a job I enjoyed, but I, I wanted to pursue my college qualification because this was already a year into the, the course. I wanted to complete the second year, get the qualification, and then I could say, like, yeah, I didn't quit it. The best job that I've had, I worked with a company uh, called Stadium TM. Stewarding work, like, I would work at football grounds, you know, watch over the crowd, things like that. And during my time with them, I actually did some work at the Commonwealth Games. But there's no way to say how like mad it is to say, yeah, I worked at the Commonwealth Games, I was a steward. Like I've, I met gold medalists and everything while I was there. That, that's, that just, it shows how, how, how something like that would make you feel massive and make you feel big. Oh, I'd love to thank them for actually just giving me the opportunity to do it because it, it, it is a memory that will stick with me forever. I will never actually forget that. Now, I actually have five tattoos and I'm going to say now that's not me stopping. I am uh, going to get more tattoos. <laughs> like, the, I've already seen the ones that I want to get. The first one that I got was my little sister's name and her date of birth. I got that on this this arm here. After that, um, I got my mum tattoo. Uh, the next tattoo I actually got was I got a big skull on my back, a skull in flames. So I got that on my back. Now these the, these three tattoos that I got done, um, these were done by my friend. He did he did them when he first got his uh, what's it called tattooing gun. I'm I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but yeah, uh, he did them. I'm thankful that he did them because they were my first tattoos and they do look great. Uh, the next two that I got, I actually did go to a tattoo studio for. I got dad printed underneath mum. So the tattoo that I've actually got here is the anti-possession uh, warding from Supernatural. It's the tattoo that both brothers have on the chest. But the next one that I want to get, um, it's... I don't know how many of you will know um, Yumi at Six. It's the, the circles from the Night People tour. The reason I want that is because Night People was the first tour, the first like live concert I ever saw. So it means a lot to me and yeah, that's the whole reason I want that tattoo. I'm still trying to decide where to get it put, but once I've decided, it's something that I definitely want on me. Now the last thing that I want to talk about is uh, another big reason for me wanting to start a YouTube channel. I've always wanted to be an actor. Like, from being a little kid, I, I used to do accents, used to put on little plays, tell little stories, things like that. I've always wanted to be in front of the camera acting. Now, um, when I saw YouTube pop up, I, I, I could see all of these people being able to get in front of the camera and be themselves. Just put out there what they want to put out there, regardless of, like, scripts or anything like that. They could literally just go with the flow say what they want to say and have no no one hold them back or tell them no you can't do that so that's what inspired me to like pull pull myself into youtube also watch like the, these these youtubers that i've watched for a long time like uh joe Sog, the side men ollie why all, all of these are big inspirations for like why I wanted to do this. Thank, thanks for watching. Like, I just hope uh, I hope I've been able to give you a better insight into you know this. If you did like the video, give it a like. Comment down below anything else you'd like to know, or anything else you'd like to see in another video in the future. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell uh, so that you're always kept up to date on all of my content. And yeah, big thank you for watching and big thanks for the support in the other videos. I'm loving doing this and I don't see any signs of stopping. So yeah, see you in the next one.